Hello and welcome to my channel. Now in today's vlog, it's going to be a short vlog, I just wanted to uh, talk to you about a little hack that I've made for the Rode Wireless Go. Now the Rode Wireless Go has been out for about a year and it's the microphone that I find myself using most, it's really convenient. I got it when it first came out and having used it for about a year I can definitely recommend it for vlogging. So new hat, leave your comments in the comments section below, tell me what you think. Summer hat. So the Rode Wireless Go, it's the perfect wireless vlogging microphone because uh, it's never too far away from its receiver. The microphone is only ever about a metre away and there's nothing in between. Because this microphone, as soon as there is anything in between the microphone and its receiver, um, it will drop out. So you cannot trust it. If I turned my back from this distance on that receiver, it would drop out. So bear that in mind if you're uh, going to purchase this microphone. But clear line of sight, I can tell you that um, if I went to the other side of this reservoir, clear line of sight, it would actually work. So I've tested that and you'll see online a lot of people testing it, but it has to be clear line of sight. But that would be pushing the limits and uh, I wouldn't really trust it. I would trust it uh, within clear line of sight within 30 meters. Uh, I would trust it there, but clear line of sight is the key factor there. So that's why I recommend it for vlogging because you're never really more than arm's length away from the receiver. Now, another reason that the Wireless Go is my go-to microphone when vlogging is because having a microphone attached to your chest um, gives you the ability to turn away and still talk while looking away from the camera as I'm doing now. And if you try that with an on-camera mic, you will be really disappointed when you get back and listen to the footage as your uh, audio levels drop as you turn away from the uh, from the camera so that's a really good feature and uh, I couldn't really be doing without that now I've got used to being able to talk and look around me so for my vlogs that really works and I've got the wireless go attached to my uh, backpack here which we'll get to in a moment because that is the hack now one of the drawbacks to uh, a wireless microphone is battery life you rely on the battery so uh, you are gonna run out of battery. Sometime it's gonna to happen to you and I always carry a backup microphone on the road. Video Micro is the backup microphone that I bring with me. But I've got to say the battery life on this wireless Go, which was unexpected, I mean, they did profess that it had a seven hour battery and I believe it actually does have somewhere in the region of a seven hour battery. I just switch it on and leave it on all day vlogging. And uh, sometimes I've been out for uh, five hours and more and I've got back to the car and there's still been battery life to spare. So I've never run out of battery yet uh, for a full day. It will definitely do you. And you can just forget about it, switch it on and leave it on. So uh, I like that feature and I was really surprised and happy with the battery life. Now, before we go into these woods here behind me, I just tell you the last thing, the last really good feature uh, and why the Rode Wireless Go is my uh, vlogging microphone of choice is its ability to cancel out the wind is amazing. That was another pleasant surprise uh, with that tiny little wind muff on there. It really does cancel out the wind. And uh, in most of my vlogs, I'm fully exposed. No, no that's a bit wrong. <laughs> in most of my vlogs, I'm out in the open. So my audio is prone to wind noise if I don't choose the right microphone. So yes, with the tiny wind muff on the Rode Wireless Go, it really does block out the wind. Now you might hear a little bit of wind and that isn't always a bad thing. I actually quite like it when you can hear the wind, but it doesn't destroy the whole audio, if you know what I mean. You can still hear me talk and you can hear a little bit of wind. So you know that it's windy um, without the uh, wind muff and uh, a microphone that doesn't uh, cancel out the wind very well. The audio is completely destroyed. So that brings me to the hack for my wireless go. The bit you've been waiting for. And thanks for staying with me. I hope you're enjoying the walk, if nothing else. And I'm glad you're with me. Otherwise, I would be all by myself. So yes, the hack for the wireless go. So my very useful hack for the Rode Wireless Go is really simple. You can't always attach your Wireless Go to your lapel or your collar or your shirt when you're hiking, especially when you're hiking. Sometimes you're zipped up and different coats that you wear, you just don't have somewhere to put it. Your backpack, however, does provide lots of different places that you could mount your Wireless Go. Now the clip on the Wireless Go is actually genius. It's a brilliant, uh, really strong, really well made, and it'll grip the fabric of any uh, collar, lapel, 
or your shirt really well. But the problem that I found was uh, when I clipped it onto my backpack, uh, the vigorous walking and uh, the, the sort of fabric, the thicker area that it had to grip to, I found that it was uh, working its way loose. And quite a few times, uh, I just uh, discovered that it was working its way loose before I lost it. And if it falls onto the grass, I'm not gonna hear it. And I could be walking for quite some time uh, before I realized that it had actually fallen off. If it falls off in the house, you're gonna find it. But uh, if it falls out, out here, uh, you're not gonna find it. So I decided to contact Road and ask them to design a uh, more ruggedized, stronger clip accessory for the wireless go. Now, maybe I made that last part up, but what I have done is I've made a prototype just to get things moving for them. I know you're watching Road, so you're welcome. So my solution to this problem is fixed by using an action cam clamp. They're very cheap and uh, you see them normally used for uh, GoPro. In fact, they have a GoPro attachment on them and I used a hacksaw and just cut that off just to make it a little bit more flush. But you don't actually have to cut that off. But that's what I used. And on my first attempt, I just uh, cable tied with one cable tie I fastened the Rode Wireless Go to the action cam clamp. Now this worked really well and uh, it is a solution if you want to do it that way but it's semi-permanent meaning that you can't take the Wireless Go off the big clamp very easily. You can take it off but you've got to crop the cable tie off every time so I had to look for a little bit of a different solution. So this is my final design and what I do is I use a cold shoe mount. You can pick them up. In fact, I'll leave a link to this one. It's the a small rig cold shoe mount and I've cable tied that to the clamp and that enables me to take advantage of the genius little clip that is already on the Rode Wireless Go and that fits nicely into cold shoe very securely and it means that I can take the uh, Rode Wireless Go off and on that uh, more rugged clamp because you don't always want the big clamp sometimes you want to uh, attach it to your lapel so that's my uh, final design so if you have any tweaks or uh, if this vlog has helped you in any way, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm interested in what you think. If you've got any improvements on my design, I definitely would like to know what they are. But that is it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, give me a like and consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every week. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.